This video tutorial will help you understand how to complete a critical examination worksheet. This uh, worksheet, Critical Examination of a News Article, helps you focus your reading of a news article to understand the main idea, the evidence, and other key facts about any news article that you might read online or anywhere else. Use this video tutorial to help you understand how to complete this document. Uh, feel free to pause, rewind, take notes, and use this while you're completing your assignment. All right, let's go. This is a blank critical examination document. You'll see a number of tasks. Write your research question, enter some facts about the article, give some basic facts about the content, write the main idea of the article, talk about supporting evidence, and give a conclusion about how that article relates to your research question. A little bit too fast? That's fine. We'll go step by step. And of course, we'll look at my model example. Your first task is to type your research question in the space here. You can see how I've done that with mine. How are people addressing bullying in recent years? For this project, you should have already found a research question. And remember, with a news article, a research question simply means something that you're wondering about as you read the article, a question that guides your thinking and your analysis. That should be fairly simple. Be sure to type it in Arial 14 point font, not in italics, and create some space between the task and your answer. The next task is to find important information about the article and notice the directions. Replace the words below with the important information. We're looking for some simple information, the title, the author, the source, the date, and the link. Let's take a look at my article. My article is an, is an article, a news report from Channel One News uh, about a mother of a bullied girl. And I can see the article here, find the information, take a look at all the text, and here's the title, Mother of Bullied Florida Girl Wants Tougher Laws. I enter that here. Notice that I type it just as I saw it at the top of the page, and I enclose it in quotation marks. The next task is finding the author. And I can see the author here to the left, author Mike Schneider. You should be able to find authors of news articles. If you cannot find one, then you can leave that blank for now, but always ask to see if you're missing it. Your next task is finding the source. The source means whoever published this. And of course, this is Channel One News, so I enter Channel One News. Notice that I italicize Channel One News. The name of the source should be italicized. My last task is finding the date. The date is published right here, November 25th, 2013. You should be able to find a month, day, and year for news articles. Actually, that was not my last task. My last task is to provide a link to the article. And remember that you can do that simply by highlighting the word link, going up here in Google Drive to insert link, and inserting the link right there. I have done that, so I can immediately link to the article. That's all for article information. Now I'll scroll down to basic facts. Answer each of the following questions as clearly as you can. So you must ask yourself who, what, when, and where. This is an abridged form of the basic questions for all journalists. The who question may be more than one person, and it may be an organization. In this case, I'm talking about Trisha Norman, the mother of the girl, Rebecca Sedwick, the victim, Caitlin Roman, the accused bullier, Matt Morgan, an attorney, and Sheriff Grady Judd. Those are all the who's that come into play in my article, and I list them all. I'd be sure to, I'm sure to identify them clearly also. The reader of this document should understand pretty clearly what's going on in this article. The what focuses on the crucial issue of the article. Now, there may be a lot of what's. There may be a lot of activities happening in the article, but you want to focus on the central one. And that's often carried in the title. Norman, that being Trisha Norman, the mother, is pushing for new anti-bullying laws. Okay, that seems to make sense. The when. Notice that I have included now. That's because it does not specify any time. The article talks about when the bullying happened and some dates in the past, 
But as far as the activity of the mother wanting tougher laws, that's happening right now. And the article doesn't seem to point to any time in the past or in the present. So I simply say now. Do not type now unless the article does not specify a time. Only type now if you cannot find a more specific date. If you're looking at an event that happened a few days ago, for instance, that date should be listed. So be sure to list it. The where is Florida. In this article, Orlando, Florida, actually is the specific where, but that simply means that's where the reporter is reporting from. The mother of the bullied teen is arguing for these tougher laws throughout all of Florida, so I have listed Florida as my where. Those are the important pieces of information. They will vary from article to article, but find all four. The next task is to use the facts above to write the main idea of the article in a complete sentence. One complete sentence, no run-ons, no fragments, and do not write two sentences. You can write one sentence. You might think, but you've included a whole lot of who's. How can I write one sentence out of that? Well, focus on your what for a moment. Think about the action, the main action or event of the article, and use the person that is doing that action as the subject of your sentence. So here I've written, Trisha Norman, mother of bully teen Rebecca Sedwick, is pushing for stronger anti-bullying laws in Florida. I've included Rebecca Sedwick and Trisha Norman, as those seem to be two crucial who's for this sentence. I have my what is pushing for stronger anti-bullying laws, and I have in Florida. Notice that I've not included a date, because, of course, I'm implying that this is happening right now. The ING on push implies the now. If you have a date, include that date, either at the beginning or the end of the sentence. For instance, if this happened yesterday, I could say on December 7, 2013, Trisha Norman pushed for stronger anti-bullying laws in Florida. That would be an easy and effective way to include the date. Of course, I don't have a date, so I will leave that out. Now I have included all the important facts, and I have framed those facts in a complete sentence. So, my reader can understand exactly what this article is about. Next is the task of supporting evidence. As you read through the article, you must think about what evidence the author provides to support that main idea. What type of information is provided? Well, what types are there? Let's take a look. In the instructions, you can see that I've listed a number of types. Testimony, statistic, definition, or researched fact. Testimony includes somebody speaking, quotations, or paraphrases of what they said. A statistic, of course, is a number. A definition is the definition of a concept. And a research fact is basically anything else. Facts about something that happened, for instance. Look at my example. The article contains a number of quotations from Trisha Norman herself, and that is testimony. So I simply list it that way. Look here. This is a quotation from Norman, and of course, it's not the only quotation from Norman, so I include it there. Quotations from Norman testimony. Statements from Roman. This is the girl that was accused of bullying. That statement is not necessarily a quotation because she's not quoted directly. However, the author paraphrases what she said, and I include that. Statements from Roman. Testimony. Details of Sedwick's death. These are research facts about the incident. The proposed new law, the law that Norman is proposing, these also are research facts. Details of the alleged bullying, these are research facts as well. So as I read through the Channel 1 article, I, s I will see a number of research facts about the incident. I list all of those, but I do not simply list one big group of research facts. Rather, I provide three bulleted details about them. Your article may contain more supporting evidence than this. However, do not make the mistake of only including one or two bullets. Chances are good that your article contains a wide variety of information. Be sure to detail it in your bulleted list. And do not forget to identify its type. The last, the last step is the conclusion. Explain how this relates to the research question. 
That means that you must think about your overall research question, how are people addressing bullying in recent years? Ask yourself, how does this article relate to that research question? Look at my conclusion for the Norman article. This article shows one parent trying to punish the alleged bulliers of her daughter. So it shows that parents of victims want bulliers to be punished. It also shows a parent trying to convince lawmakers to pass legislation against bullying. So the article shows that some people are looking for punishment of bulliers and laws to make sure future bulliers are punished. Interesting. This one article indicates that some people want punishment and new legislation. So this helps me understand and the way the article answers the question, how are people addressing bullying in recent years? If you look at my second model example, which is also available on my big campus, you will find a more positive reaction to bullying. This one is fairly negative and reactive. But my conclusion shows that. It states exactly how this article relates to my question. Hopefully that helps you start on the critical examination. Be sure to ask questions in class as you are confused and look for feedback on your critical examinations. Just polish, revise, and improve your work.